हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आवर फ्री कोर्स डिजाइन ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइन यू हैव टू पे नथिंग फॉर दिस कोर्स यू हैव टू ओनली सब्सक्राइब शेयर एंड लाइक आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वीडियोज इन दिस कोर्स वी विल कवर द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइन फ्राम एल टी लाइन टू एट हंड्रेड के वी पावर लाइन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर दैट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑसिक इन कमेंट सेक्शन द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस कोर्स आर लेटर ऑफ इंटेंट एल ओ आई बिल ऑफ क्वान्टिटी एंड एस्टिमेशन वट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन बिल ऑफ क्वान्टिटी एंड एस्टिमेट सर्वे ऑफ आर पावर लाइन वट आर द मेन पॉइंट यू शुड कैप्ट इन माइंड ज्यूरिंग सर्वे ऑफ पावर लाइन परमिशन इज नीड फॉर ट्रांसमिशन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइन कंस्ट्रक्शन लोड कनेक्टेड लोड मैक्सिमम डिमांड डिमांड फैक्टर एंड डाइवर्सिटी फैक्टर हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दीज फैक्टर्स वट दट दीज फैक्टर्स मीन एस एल डी प्रिपरेशन और ए वन लाइन डायग्राम preparation as per the survey nominal voltage and rated voltage clearance of transmission and distribution lines height of towers structural triangles calculation of weight of steel used in transmission and distribution structure normal span of transmission and distribution lines types of towers calculating number of disk insulator needed calculation of cable size or acr conductor size e type calculation of cable size and short circuit analysis accessories used in transmission and distribution lines calculating the earth resistance sag calculation of transmission lines measure of cables these all topics will be covered in this course now we will see what does the letter of intent mean what it contains a letter of intent is a non bidding document that outlines an agreement in principle between two parties it contains the main terms and conditions of a agreement so letter of intent contains terms and conditions of a contract i will show you one of the loi which i issued to contractor recently this is the loi which i recently issued to your contractor you can see that the loi contains the main terms and conditions of the contract now we will see the bill of quantity what does the bill of quantity mean what are the key points of bill of quantity a bill of quantity is a detailed document that lists and describes all the materials with main specifications it is used for finding the cost of project and procurement of material the key points to in a bill of quantity are a uq provides an itemized list of all the components of a construction project such as material equipment etc each item is described in detail specifying the type quantity quality and other relevant information the buq specifies the quantities of each item required for the project this includes the number of units measurements or volumes of materials for each item in a buq unit prices are provided these unit prices represent the cost per unit or per measurement of the item allowing for accurate cost calculation the buq enables the calculation of the total cost of the project by multiplying the quantities needed for each item by their representative unit prices this total cost includes all the project expenses from material and labor to overhead and profit margins contractors and suppliers use the buq to prepare their bids quotations for the project the client or a project owner can use the 
be able to, to evaluate and compare these bids helping in the selection of a contractor. Now we will see what is the estimation mean. What does the estimate mean? Estimation is the process of forecasting or approximating the cost of a project before detailing planning of itemized quantification. It provides an early cost assessment to support decision making. Estimation is typically less detailed than a BUQ. It may not provide an itemized list of components with quantities and unit prices. Instead, it offers an overall project cost. Estimation may use rough or average unit price for various elements of the project, but does not provide specific unit price for each of them. Estimation are used for initial budgeting, feasibility studies, and decision making rather than for contractor bidding. Estimation are often more flexible, adapted to changes in the project scope or specification because they are based on general assumptions and may not be as detailed. Now we will see the difference between BOQ and estimation or an estimate. The key difference between a BOQ and an estimate is that a BOQ is tailored, itemized, quantified breakdown of project components with specific unit prices used for procurement and cost control, while an estimation is a primary cost as an assessment used for budgeting, decision making, providing a rough cost projection without the detailed breakdown found in a BOQ. Both documents play important roles in the construction process with the BOQ being more detailed and specific. In the next lecture, we will see the what does the survey mean and other topics will be covered in the next lecture. Thank you.